He had put a collar around her neck, and now he was closing the handcuffs around her wrists. Suddenly, he awoke with a start. He finally had the woman he longed for, but it was just a wet dream. Also, there were sharks surrounding his bed. It was a dream within a dream. No, a nightmare within a nightmare. The sharks were wearing sexy bikinis. He felt very confused and weirdly aroused, but he kept his cool. If it was wrong, why did it feel so right? He was thinking how best to use a pickup line on a bikini-clad shark. Thankfully, next to his bed, he had a glass of gin and tonic that he realized caused all of this. Also, it was Christmas, hence the red and green bikinis. The house was full of beautifully colored lights and little elves who were also wearing bikinis. One of them looked like Quagmire from Family Guy. Because he was a pervert, he was wearing a Christmas-themed thong. So he decided to go to a salon so that he could get his nails done. The lady working at the salon was a red panda named Wanda, who liked to listen to metal music while she worked. He was worried that she would get fur in his nail polish, but it didn't matter because he was Jay-Z, and she would use all the skills she learned over the internet home course. The problem was, sometimes she mixed recipe tutorials with nail art tutorials and make all the it nails look edible, much to the detriment of wooing sharks. However, she was also a gardener, which meant she had a nice ass and buff arms. The favorite food of the sharks was pasta a la carbonara. When Jay-Z walked into the salon, a Shakira song was playing, which made him shake his ass and started playing Dance Belly and he knew all the lyrics and sang off the key. He asked Wanda to dance with him, but Wanda had crooked feet and could not dance. Not with that attitude. Jay-Z decided to give Wanda dancing lessons. She was so bad at dancing, they ended up tangled mess on the floor. Jay-Z thought he was falling in love with Wanda, but she was a red panda, so they decided to play Twister. Little did they know, it was a magical game of Twister. It was so magical that it turned Wanda into a human. Jay-Z licked his lips. But Wanda was creeped out by that, so she fell down. Jay-Z had a secret, though. He had an alter ego, who was Godzilla, king of monster perverts. And everyone talked about his large tail. A fox tail. So Jay-Z and the newly human Wanda decided to go to the beach to celebrate their newfound love. When suddenly, Wanda fell in love with the turtle and pooped. His name was Donatello. Jay-Z was heartbroken, so he returned home to his bikini-clad sharks. They offered him cheese. He couldn't compete with a ninja turtle, but he had his shark waifus, so it was okay. The shark waifus were pretty sexy indeed. So Jay-Z and the sharks sat around the table eating cheese, and all was well, but then... CRASH! Mothra invaded, coming after his alter ego. It was the true form of the Mother Moth, who wanted Jay-Z for her own. Suddenly, there was a solar eclipse. The moths arose from deep within the depths of the jungle. They began their feast on the innocent humans lost in the Bermuda Triangle. The start of mating season had begun. The Great Mother Moth, who was sentient, flew across the country, wreaking havoc wherever she went. Suddenly, Marilyn Monroe appeared in the Bermuda Triangle. She was the only human capable of controlling the moth uprising, and control she did. She waved her wand, singing, Happy Birthday, Mr. President. Donald Trump fell off the Eiffel Tower at that very moment, resulting in his death. And there arose great celebrations. The great mother moth was elected to become the new president of the United States. She chose Marilyn Monroe to be her VP, but she had dinner with Elvis, so she had to refuse. The great mother moth was named Sharon, and she was a stone. Sharon, the giant sentient stone mother moth, was now president of the United States. People across the world were baffled and relieved. But most confused was Ozzy Osbourne, who kept confusing her with his wife. He was sad because his parents had given him a horrible name, who all of a sudden could only talk in rhyme. Thankfully, his parents were quickly devoured by the mother moth's underlings, and a gem from the merfolk could cure him from his horrible drug addictions he had. All the while, Jay-Z was desperately trying to regain control of the situation, to no avail, because the true mastermind behind everything was Neil Patrick Harris, who went by the name Dr. Evil. Neil was in the fountain business, but that was a cover-up. 
This caused the time to start flowing in reverse. The only solution was to retrieve the great diamond from the depths of Timbuktu in the Temple of the Lost Puppy, guarded by a zombie Indiana Jones and zombie Lara Croft. Lara Croft started giving Indiana Jones a blowjob, and he was into her motions till it fell off. He was sad because he no longer had a penis, but he brought his old one with him just in case she could reattach. While they were walking, her tongue fell out. Suddenly, Jay-Z succeeded in seducing the sharks, which caused a tsunami, bringing a storm around the whole town. The waves reached 200 plus feet. It was then revealed that Neil Patrick Harris was actually Lord Voldemort, but with a pigtail as his nose. Sadly, it was determined he would not host the Emmys this year because he was on a quest to seek the Force. Thankfully, the great ninja Sakuya was protecting him. They were searching in a dark swamp for Yoda, but all they found was Bill Gates swimming along peacefully as the moon shone overhead, who was clapping his hand saying, Hercules, Hercules. It turned out that Bill Gates was actually just Yoda dressed up in a really good Bill Gates cosplay, which explained why he was swimming alone in a magical swamp. And Bill Nye appeared yelling, Science rules! While all the shrubs kept yelling, Wally! It turns out Yoda had been practicing for the local Comic Con. He was learning to swim because Bill Gates was well known for his swimming prowess, but he couldn't outswim Lestat. Suddenly, Cotton Eye Joe started playing in the background, which caused uncontrollable dancing, making Yoda drown, and he was pulled into the never-ending story. Yoda drowned, it turned into a story loop, the end.